Hey guys, and welcome back to NG Education YouTube channel. In today's video, we're discussing how to make a competitive undergraduate application to UK universities for philosophy, UK or US to an extent for that matter, because some of the stuff is relevant. So if you're considering studying philosophy, keep watching. Okay guys, so um, I'm very lucky um, to uh, be joined today by uh, my colleague Finn. Uh, Finn, great to have you uh, back with us. Thanks, great to see you again, Sonny. Um, so um, Finn, uh, for those of you who, uh, who don't know, um, did his undergraduate masters and PhD uh, all in philosophy and, uh, and, and now works with myself and our other colleagues helping students with philosophy and university admissions and other subjects. So uh, really is a very uh, qualified person. So really, you know, thank you for coming. So Finn, how do you you know, how do you make a competitive um, application for philosophy to UK universities? Okay, well, I, I would say that uh, the philosophy state, sorry, the personal statement is a very important component of a philosophy application. And this is where many of the universities will be distinguishing uh, between, you know, the candidates who they think have real, real potential, really strong potential for philosophical thinking, and those who uh, maybe have, aren't as able to clearly express their interest mm -hmm. in, the, in the topic. So I'll talk a little bit about a philosophy personal statement. So I think, um, first of all, uh, as an admissions tutor, I would be looking for evidence, first of all, of simply of uh, reading, and, or not necessarily reading, but reading, listening, mm -hmm. research, yeah. uh, wider wider kind of thinking and uh, investigating about the, about the subject of philosophy which hopefully would go a little beyond uh, the curriculum of the student, even if that student is doing A-level mm -hmm. philosophy. So that could be, it could be talking about books, it could be talking about podcasts, documentaries, interviews, anything that's related to philosophy in some way or other. Now, what's really important to understand here is simply mentioning that you've read a certain book in the statement isn't really that effective on its own. So that's name dropping, basically. Yeah, so name dropping alone should certainly be avoided. Uh, rather, I want you to tell me, why did you like this book? And also, I always recommend zooming in on some specific ideas or arguments from that material. Mm. So, for instance, if I were to say, uh, I read the book uh, The Republic by Plato, uh, and I really liked it because, it, you know, Socrates was very insightful or something doesn't really tell me too much mm. um, so what would be much better is to say something like well I found Socrates arguments for why uh, justice is an intrinsic value mm. okay tell me about that specific argument on that specific page uh, tell me just tell me your thoughts about it you know what did you think why did you find it interesting did you maybe disagree with it and why so if you ask those more detailed questions and answer them in the statement, mm. what you'd be showing me is more flair for the subject, mm. more of a critical eye on the material that you've read. Mm -hmm. uh, and also you're just going showing me what you would be like in a seminar, in a seminar on philosophy, for instance. That's interesting. And that gives me a much better sense of uh, whether you're a really strong candidate. Finn, that's, uh, no, that's, no, that's great advice. So in, in a way you're, you're telling show, don't tell. Precisely, precisely. Yeah. Uh, and that way you are, you're setting yourself out from the crowd. Uh, and uh, when we're writing personal statements, we have to bear in mind there are so many competent students applying. Mm. So if you tell me your thoughts on Plato's one specific argument on one specific page, well, most likely no other student is going to have analysed that particular argument in their personal statement. Yeah. So instantly I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, this is quite memorable now. Uh, this is the one, the one student who's focused on this particular idea. I'm going to remember this when I'm making my decision about who to accept and who not to. So you're almost saying go, you know, go not to go quite narrow but very deep rather than go wide but shallow. Exactly, and uh, one major reason for that is that is exactly what university lecturers are looking for in university level essays. Mm. Uh, so essays that score very highly at university are those which really zoom in on something very specific yeah. and analyze in detail. So 
in the personal statement, show me that you can do that. Show me you can go, show me you've got those skills. And I will think, wow, you know, the, the student has got amazing potential. I can see them writing a first class philosophy essay very easily. That's, uh, no, that makes a lot of sense. And um, guys, by the way, if you haven't already, do sign up for my newsletter that I send out every three weeks on university admissions and CV building, where there are conferences, uh, lectures, seminars that you won't find elsewhere um, uh, that will help you beef up your resume, uh, you know, as an applicant to university or even later on for job search. So do check it out, the link is, uh, the link is below. Um, Finn, uh, just moving to another question. Do you need to have studied, you know, if you want to be a doctor, you, you must do biology, right? If you want to be a mathematician, you need to do maths A-level. If you want to study philosophy, do you need a philosophy A-level? You do not. Um, so certainly uh, for any A-level students watching who are not currently doing philosophy, uh, please don't be discouraged and please don't feel that you cannot apply for a philosophy course. You mm. absolutely can. Uh, and in fact, um, I would say even students who are doing maths and science subjects can also still apply. Really? Absolutely, yes. So uh, I think um, so, so. one reason for that is, for instance, uh, philosophers will also be interested in the logic and analytical skills that you get from mathematics and science subjects. So certainly I've had uh, classmates in the past who've come into philosophy from a maths and science background and mm -hmm. done extremely well. So that's uh, really, uh, there's, no, there's no wrong combination of subjects for philosophy. Uh, if, if for those of you who are not uh, not yet in A level or IB uh, at, at that stage, I would say uh, now it can be helpful to do philosophy A level. Um, I think partly just because it, it will make you more familiar with the subject, it will mm. kind of force you to become more familiar, and of course that could well be to your advantage when it comes to something like your personal statement. So I would say if you're not doing philosophy A level. Uh, I would encourage you to, to uh, really invest time outside of class to start doing philosophy reading and, and research, just to make sure that you, you have things to talk about during the application, uh, so that you work out whether the subject is really for you, uh, and also just to start training yourself uh, mm. in philosophical thinking. So, for example, by the way, uh, I did not study philosophy A-level myself, Interesting, but I I uh, got my place to study philosophy, politics and economics at Oxford and philosophy turned out to be my best subject of the three branches. But uh, I would have to caveat that by saying I did a lot of philosophy reading mm. uh, outside of my, my curriculum of study. Which you included into your personal statement, of course. Yes, absolutely. Um, mm. One other quick tip is uh, I would encourage you to, if possible at all, find a friend who's maybe doing philosophy A-level themselves or has some experience and interest in the subject. Mm. Uh, for me, that was extremely helpful during my application process. Mm. Uh, philosophy is very much a debating subject. Yes. Right? It's similar to history or politics in that way. And so actually getting the experience of having a debate, a philosophical debate uh, in real life, so to speak, rather than just in an essay, I think would serve you very, very well in a philosophy application. That's, that's, really, that's really great advice. So find a philosophy buddy uh, you know, to, to, to discuss your uh, philosophy things. Well, um, guys, I think we, you know, we all owe uh, Finn um, a debt of gratitude. Uh, Finn, you, you know, you've shared some really valuable insights. Could you please, just as we wrap this up, just give us top three tips to um, prospective philosophy applicants, top three short things on what they should do to make the application stronger? Sure. Um, so number one thing will be show critical thinking within your personal statements. Uh, so show, don't tell. Exactly, exactly. Uh, number two, I would say, yeah, invest the time in reading and learning about philosophy mm -hmm. beyond beyond the classroom. Uh, because, um, yeah, this is something that will serve you uh, really well, even if you're doing philosophy A-level. But especially for those who are not doing philosophy A-level, it's really, really crucial. Yep. Philosophy is quite different to other subjects that you're probably studying. And so I think yeah, you need some some kind of exposure mm -hmm. in order to be able to make a, a really strong application. Uh, third, I would say, um, yeah, um, well, I'll come back to that point I, I mentioned about trying to to practice philosophy with, with somebody you know. It could be a family member, it could be a friend. If you don't know anyone who's, who's doing the subject or has experience, I would encourage you to... Uh, 
pick up some some ideas and some questions and then ask somebody like a family member what they think about them. Yeah. Because uh, many people will have thought about philosophical questions in some way or other, even if they're not familiar with the academic side of the subject. Yeah. So you might well be able to get some some practice by discussing the issues with uh, with people you know. Got it. Finn, this was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, guys, um, just a reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, click like and subscribe. Why? Uh, because the more subscribers we have, the more um, uh, prospective students uh, who may benefit from this will see this video. And we put a ton of work and effort into this uh, YouTube channel. So any, any support from you will be massively appreciated. But for now, Finn, thank you very much. Uh, great to have you here. Pleasure. And uh, have a good weekend. You too. Thank you.